day, we were starting to talk a lot about water and some of the big questions that you had about water. Like how did the water get to be on the earth and how does the water stay up and not sink down? Or how does it not fall off the earth? And then how does the land not sink? So we were talking about a lot of those questions, but then something kind of funny happened. We started talking about something else. Do you remember what we were talking about? About what's inside the earth? And a lot of you were really curious about what would happen if you dug down, 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 maybe you would hit water. Or the core of the earth. Yeah, exactly. If you kept going, what would be in there? So I've got some books here that I thought we could look at together. But first of all, I thought maybe you'd like to share, maybe you've been thinking a little bit more about it, what you think is in the middle of the earth. Not even the very middle, but out from the middle. Maybe you have information you know, or maybe you have something that you think, a theory that you're not really sure about that you'd like to share. And then when we hear all of your ideas, we can build on them and then we can maybe do a little bit of reading to find out what scientists have discovered about this. So would somebody like to start us off with what they think, a theory, or maybe something you know? Say that again. I think lava is the core of the earth. Ah, lava. In Spain, there, there was an explosion of lava, and that's why there's lots of mountains and hot places. Okay, and where did the explosion come out of? Mm, the volcano. Okay. There's a rock made to it because the lava is already the core of the earth. So the lava is the core, and then you said a rock? Made to the above it. And what's a rock mantle? Can you tell people what you know about that? Actually, the core is just rock, then lava, then just like a rain of rock. So, so what, is, what does mantle mean to you? Like walk around the core. Alright, okay. I saw on a book, lots of books, that they show um, what if they slice the earth like a cake and then it would be like this big ball that's holding the earth together. It's like an orangish ball. And it looks kind of like the sun, but it's not. Sometimes you can see pictures where it's like they slice the earth in half and then you see what's called a cross section and you can see all the things that are inside. Once I was digging and then it got harder to dig every time I got deeper. And what do you think you were hitting when it got harder? Um, rock maybe? No rock. Okay. So at first it was easy. What was on the top? Soil. Okay. Oh, definitely soil. And I know a lot of you have dug at beaches when maybe sand is the top layer and it's pretty yeah, easy to dig sand, sand, isn't it? But yeah, then maybe yeah. as you get deeper it gets harder? Yeah. yeah. Definitely a sand box. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and actually, some of you were wondering that the other day. Where is that water coming from when you're at the beach? You dig, 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 dig. Because the, the ocean is under the sea. And the ocean goes under the, the, the sand. sand. The earth is made out of in the sand. It's all water, but there's like lands on the water. Okay. okay, so you're saying the whole earth is actually made of water, and then land is spread around on it. Yeah. Remember that the tiny cables. island that we were looking at in the middle of the Hawaii. Pacific Ocean? I wonder how that little, well, I guess it's not so little, but how did that island get there in the middle of such a huge ocean? A volcano erupted in the water. Do you think? And that's how the island was Yeah, formed? that's how yeah. islands mm -hmm. actually form. Yeah. yeah. If we're close to the ocean, that means if you dig, that means you reach water. If you're not, you don't. An interesting question is if we dug down here, if we would hit water, and a lot of you are thinking no just because we're not close to the ocean. Maybe. But maybe if you dug down and you were close to the water and then you kept digging down sideways, the opposite direction of the ocean, you might need to keep digging and digging to find the water. But you think you might hit deeper water? Down. But maybe you'd hit it eventually? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we're getting more questions than we had before. So now you're thinking also about how islands are formed and we can think about that and some good ideas about volcanoes as well. Would you like to see a little picture from some of these books about what some people think the core of the earth looks like? Yeah. yeah? Okay.